first time in our more than 200,000 years of relationship, instead of the planet shaping the humans, the humans are shaping the planet. At a time when the triple planetary crisis of climate change, biodiversity loss and pollution are driving an unprecedented degree of risk, we must understand and address these critical obstacles to human development. 2020 has been devastating, record-breaking, uh, hurricanes, enormous wildfires in Australia, in the USA, in Siberia, in Brazil, and the pandemic, in which too many have died and many millions more have uh, lost their chances to work, to study, or see their loved ones. Also in Sudan, we experienced this badly. In September, a profuse and continuous rainfall in Sudan caused a devastating flood across 17 out of the 18 states. Uh, with the Blue Nile reaching levels that were not seen for a hundred years. Also, in the longer term, the Sahara had advanced south by 200 kilometers since 1935, while some sources estimate the southerly expansion uh, at between 5 and 40 kilometers annually. These impacts go beyond the environment. In a country like Sudan, where natural resources are the foundation of its agriculture-dominated economy, they risk peace, they risk access to food and water, they risk people's health, lives and livelihoods. What we know is, globally, uh, the warning lights from nature and society are flashing red. Our actions, particularly our dependence on fossil fuels and practices of unsustainable production and consumption are driving climate change, biodiversity collapse, ocean acidification, air and water pollution and land degradation. We need to make a change.